Hello, I'm Paul Hand and welcome badminton fans to the Birmingham Arena in the middle of the city centre, indeed the middle of the country. Badminton England hosting the Yonex All England Open Badminton Championships from the Midlands for the 25th consecutive year. It's simply a world-class tournament steeped in history and prestige, one of the trophies most sought after by the players. Day three brings you quarterfinals action from the off. Our live coverage bringing you 20 quarterfinal matches unfolding across two match courts. Well, we've a freshly remodeled HSBC BWF World Tour. Here's how the events break down by category. The All England Open aligned as one of only three Super Thousand events, the highest tier possible. All the speed, drama and passion returning to Birmingham for this, one of 27 tour stops, all building to the finals in Guangzhou in December, featuring the top eight in each discipline. Here's the tour schedule then, one of the biggest tournaments of the year, the All England Open, then down under to New Zealand first, then Sydney, Australia, then the US Open, then back to the Far East for the midsummer, the Malaysian and Indonesian Opens. And then here is what we have in store for you on today's generous order of play. First session up first, it's women's doubles quarterfinal, world champions and top seeds take on the fifth seed. So that's Chen Ching Chen and Jia Yifan against Tanaka and Yonemoto of Japan. Then women's singles top seed defending champion and world number one, Taitsu Ying against the unseeded Japanese player Ohori. Next up, our standout world doubles number ones, Gideon and Sakamulyu of Indonesia against Chen and Wang of Chinese Taipei. To follow, mixed doubles Danish fast risers of a career high ranking. Christiansen and Pedersen take on Jordan and Susanto, the former champions in the mixed doubles of 2016. There we are then. So, and then the big one to round out the first of day one sessions, a mouthwatering repeat of women's singles world championship epic final. The fourth seed, PV Sindhu of India against Okuharu of Japan, the seventh seed in the women's singles draw. So there we are then at the very top of the women's doubles draw. Chen Ching Chen and Jia Yifan take on Shiho Tanaka and Koharu Yonemoto of Japan. That's how the land lies then at the very top of the draw. Here come our players. Both these young Chinese players, both 20 years old, the world number ones. Two of the Chinese new guard here to stay. And you can see that they have had some really tough times against these Japanese opponents. Shiho Tanaka and Koharu Yonemoto. And indeed, it's the Japanese duo, one of three teams from Japan inside the top six on the world rankings that lead the head-to-head -head showings here in this very matchup. 3-2. Indeed, uh, they've been sharing wins over their head-to-head -head matches in the last few years. So these guys, well, they won the Dubai World Finals last year. What do you like, the red or the black? The black, okay. Tanaka, 25 years old, let's listen into the... Point. The black for you. A little bit of hesitancy. Yeah. Yes, oh, we're going to serve. Service, sorry. Hard to serve. Yes. Who's receiving? Okay, so the Japanese duo have elected to receive after all of that. And uh, it'll be China to serve to get us underway as the two minute warm up begins. Chen Ching Chen, what an explosive, terrific player she is in women's and mixed doubles, of course. World number one in both of those disciplines. Just 20 years old from Wang Zhong. Yeah, well, playing off that pinnacle ranking with her partner today, Xie Yi Fan. Four world titles for them, including the world champion ships of last year from Glasgow. There's her partner, Jia Yifan, same age. 
What a bright future they have, these two ahead of them. And they really do have such an imposingly relaxed on-court demeanor. Here's who they beat to get here. Just around three quarters of an hour played them for both of their opening round encounters. As to the Japanese duo in their first match of Fukumon and Yanoa. This is a different proposition today. These guys lead the head-to-head -head showing. We said that. There's Shiho Tanaka. He's 25. Five foot three, currently ranked fifth, these two. Their career high ranking, and after impressing uh, with title wins on the Super 350 circuit, and they won the 2017 Indian Open together. Koharu Yonemoto saying hello to her for the first time today, just a couple of years older than her partner, born in Horoshima. How will they fare today? This is their path to the quarterfinals. Took out an Indian duo first off inside half an hour and then uh, an Indonesian pairing in round two. So uh, fairly relatively plain sailing for both teams to get here. Cornelia Schroeder of Germany in the chair for this one. And her service judge Gavin Smith of England to help out. <laughs> What will unfold here today, then, in what has been, in the past, very, very close head-to-head -head showings. 3-2 in favour of this team from the land of the rising sun. And their last win in Dubai, the world finals late last year, to cap off a <coughs> terrific year for the Tanaka and Yonemoto. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Shen Chen, Jiaoshifo, China. <laughs> and on my left, Shiho Tanaka, Yoharo Yonomoto, Japan. <laughs> Jiaoshifo to serve, Yoharo Yonomoto. Lavo. Women's doubles quarterfinals action then. Just about to get underway. Team China to uh, get us going. Hey! A little confusion there with all of the noise on the court. Nice judge had his uh, hands down. Umpire confirming that, so there's been an immediate challenge. These guys play so tight to the lines, don't they? And this, the highest level of women's doubles. There was indeed out. Oh, right. oh. Oh. Out. One, love. Chinese top seeds with the opening point. Shank looked at the uh, string bed to see if it broke, but it hadn't. Nice shot. Super return. Nice to get their scoreboard Two. reeling, the Japanese Eight. pairing. Super play, finding the hole on the court there. Ji Yifan, very aware from the off. Three, one. Lefty on the court then, Ji Yifan. Smashing down the line with effect and another smile to boot this one. 
looks so relaxed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy. They see the shuttle so early and so great with the spatial awareness. It's a 4-1 lead then to the top seeds from the off here. And as form would have it, these guys have alternated wins across all of their five previous matches. This is their sixth chapter. It's the turn of the top seeds to win, according to that rhythm of their previous head-to-head -head showings. It was at the Singapore Open where they last won. The team in blue. They certainly have hit the ground running here. Extremely vocal from the off, really getting in the faces of the fifth seeds. And that's imposing in itself, and Japanese look a little bit sort of stifled and bewildered. years old, handling themselves on the biggest of world stages with ease, frankly. These guys, 25 and 27 years old as well. Right futures for all. Well, of course, it was China that had a sort of stranglehold over Three, women's doubles uh, up to about the millennium, frankly, and then uh, gradually things started to change a little. Uh, Japan now becoming quite a force in world badminton, securing three of the five titles last week in the German Open across the board. Indeed, it was Fukushima and Hirota, the fourth seeds, who claimed gold in Mulheim in the women's doubles. Three pairs inside the top six on the rankings. That keep the momentum. They certainly are two of badminton's next generation shutters, and they really have come of age. <laughs> Longest rally, so far, 37 shots. Just enough spike on that smash. Four, seven. Short lift to be fair. World's best shuttlers here then, battling it out for a share in the billion dollar prize pot. Who will taste success and get that winning feeling on Sunday? Nice shot. 
Hij pa. Zijn er? Six. Spreading the court nicely, Tanaka there, very cleverly. Get the air up in doing so. Nice, rich variety. Reducing the deficit. Oh, that is gorgeous. What a slice drop. So deceptive. Nine, seven. Just to keep their momentum and their meager, slender lead. Ladies, ladies. Get oh, this is a fast and furious women's doubles. Well, despite Sterling defence, a few short lifts and they uh, got what they deserved in the end. Look at this. They know they're up against it. Trailing 2-3 head-to-head, but they've got 11-7 lead as they head to the turn here, the top seeds. Tension Chen. Eleven. So seven. good at provoking error as she darts Play. towards the net so quickly. And likewise, Zhu <laughs> Yifan. So explosive, so imposing on the court, really doing a good job mentally out here to get inside the heads of their opponent. Leave right. No, 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 no. So it's over. Eight, eleven. Oh, well, it looks like quite an imposing uh, knee brace on the no. knee of Xu Yu Fan, but we just uh, preventative. Zolzo. Probably just a little bit of patella tendonitis, you'd imagine. There was a little bit of strapping under there as well, just to give that added support. It's a grueling schedule oh. these youngsters play to. The rigors of the tour.
played long rally and look at the reaction almost every single point that they win now it's really extremely animated and very very vocal obviously had a pre-match chat and that's the sort of one of the tactics isn't it to get right inside the head of uh, their opponents Japan always superb in defense they always get long rallies in that regard Long as well, just over the back line. Kohara Yamamoto challenges Bolt out. Japanese have to be a little careful here, they don't want to be too defense dependent. That was a correct call. Challenge unsuccessful, one challenge remaining. 14, Top eight. seeds seem bigger, more imposing. Japanese players just a little stifled and contained so far. So it's over. 9, 14. trying to intercept, but getting that one marginally wrong and see what it means to her. The flat, hard drives, and in the end, the top seeds get their way again. This Radata absolutely rifling through, and a lovely change of pace there from Xi Yifan. Spreading the court nicely to conclude the point. Chen Ching Chen. She's overcooked it. I see. She's a little frustrated with that. They have come out today with such purposeful disposition. And this, the longest rally of the match so far, in favor of the Japanese fifth seeds. Now, can they build from here? That psychologically is a wounder for the top seeds and a real game. Oh, it's uh, called wide, thinking about going upstairs, but no, there is no challenge. Chen Ching Chen backing herself there, and she was bang on. Proves, doesn't it? One more shovel back, anything can happen. Great defense from Ji Yifan. She was delighted with that. Almost telepathic of these two in the way that they dovetail together. Indeed, to be fair, all four players here. Oh, 
just when you kind of think that it might be that they're over pressing the Eight, subtle eight, hand skills ten. of Chen Ching Chen. Absolutely superb there. Look at that. So deceptive in that drop. What a class act she is. It's certainly a player here to stay. This one of the venues where the player magic simply comes together, the All England Open. Oh, yep. Lucky net cord, but she'll take it. 12, Nibbling away at the deficit. Still a lot of work to do here. Feel the Chinese pairing, strong favourites for this opener now. Another point. <laughs> they are just super stoked, aren't they, these two today? They want this desperately. Sometimes you can over want it, though, can't you? But they're blending up this tempered aggression perfectly so far. The only seeds absent in the women's doubles are the six seed, the Shapoli and the Rahia from Indonesia. They lost out to the Stoiva sisters in the opening match on day one. Indeed, they were on court one as well, I think second match on day one, on Wednesday. It was 21-11, 21-19. But the rest of the seeds all intact, all seven of them in the women's doubles throughout the quarterfinals draw. And this, of course, an all-seeded affair. It's a mesmerizing blend of clinical efficiency, power, and smatterings of soft, skill, silky hand skills. There's almost a, a desperation about the way that these top seeds are so, so pumped to get to the W today. Six game point opportunities. The Chen Ching Chen and Xiao Yifan.
Well done. They secure the opening game then, 21 points to 14. 22 minutes played. They will be delighted with that against the opponents who, in their last match at the end of the year, they lost to. With so much at stake. Good start for them so far today. Then with plenty to ponder, it was a, a very aggressive off from the top seats, and they really did bring it proactively to these two. How can they turn this one around? They've been bullied into submission so far. They're going to have to really dig deep, show a lot of attitude and application if they want to swivel this score line. But there's no doubting their abilities. Three previous wins over the Chinese opponents today to two. So leading that head-to-head, -head, I keep reiterating that because it is so significant and also kind of explains the high level of vocality and intensity from Cheng and Jia. So they've been manhandled so far today. Chen Ching Chen as you fan, continue in that vein to reach a semi-final spot. Start of game two here on day three. Course, kind of getting ready for the Olympic assault in 2020. After this, we'll see some juggling around in terms of pairings and things. Possibly. Not as regards these four. But lesser pairings, you'd imagine. It's over. One, three. Well done. Straight to the right hip. Now is this the turning of the tide right here. Coach particularly uh, animated and vocal then from the side of the Japanese bench. so easy from the Chinese perspective to be over aggressive and just tighten as a consequence of all of the adrenaline pumping through their veins but they've cooked up a really level-headed performance so far despite being particularly loud at the end of points but it's good to see it just shows how much heart how much skin they've got in the game
Well, despite a super cross block from Chen Ching Chen, Jia Yifan, a little frustrated there. That was a relatively straightforward miss for, by her lofty standards. That was a beauty there to set up this. Just maybe snatching at it a little. Left hander. Not like her to miss those. Now, three point lead in favor of uh, the fifth seeds. Oh, tough rally again. Now. Well, that is what you call a perfect turnaround. What immaculate defense from Tanaka and Yonemoto. How they turn this around, I never know. Look at that, that body blow came back. There was another great dig. That final smash spilling wide. So a few unforced errors from the top seeds and couple that with watertight defense and sheer determination and resilience and we're having a little bit of a turnaround early in this second game type of points you just don't want to lose. Oh, they got their way in the end. Wow. Surely the longest rally of the match, that one. Three, eight. 75 shots, that was. What an outstanding level of focus from every player on the court. That rally had it all, didn't it? They did really well. Play. It's almost uh, like a, a mini battle that's so important to come through. And a statement of intent from the top seats to say we're still in this game. You better believe it. Terrific serve, great flick, very deceptive. Returner barely flinched. Nine, four. Oh. 
防守逼前把拍头立起来。It doubles at this level, all about good, clear communication. Running the set plays as best you can. Narrow thought bridge, can't carry too many thoughts. A great lead, but I think it was actually in. Five, nine. It was? Yeah. Well in, in the end. <laughs> it's a must-win game from the Japanese fans' perspective. Well, oh! no, they've got no wriggle room, the Six, Japanese team. Nine. And uh, as a consequence, the Chinese duo can play a little bit more expansive because they have won that opening game. But that was really keeping the pressure on right there from Jia Yifan. Mm. Body jammer again. Hit with real venom. Ten, six. And cuffing. Chin Ching Chan. trying to be so proactive. Look at the change of pace there on the smash, but just over-pressing anxiously. But they still have a three-point lead. The underdogs, marginal underdogs. Absolutely brilliant. Back to the turn then with a four point lead. Tanaka and Yonemoto 11 7.
Pretty busy in these parts, as you can see in the Birmingham Arena here. It's uh, down to two courts today, 40, 20 quarterfinal matches to get through, but uh, really it's a pretty pe packed house. And, uh, well, a couple of compelling matches on right now. On court two, Mia Blitzfeld of uh, Denmark takes on Chen Yufei of China. Chen Yufei up a game and with a six-point lead in game two as well. So, on course for the semi-finals. Super tumbling net shot. Nervous Nine. smile afterwards, Eleven. as if to say, Whoo! I beg your pardon, it is in. That's probably why the nervous smile came. It was a poor leave in the end. Wow. Margins so tight on these two in blue, keeping an ever dangerous presence in this second game. そう、そうか。あ、もうね。ここ。ここ切れば。ここ。静かいから。甘いだったら相手ワン。ジンジンジョ。ここしっかり頑張る。ストレート。あれ。あれ。はい。ジンジンジン。ああ。絶対生きる
Indonesian Open, China Open, Hong Kong Open as well. And continuing in their strong form, some fans at the French Open as well, and recent runners up in the Malaysia Masters, four quarterfinals as well. Seeds have done really, really well to draw level here. Bearing in mind they were 9-4 down at, uh, earlier in this game, 11-7 down at the mid-game interval. Now back to 13-all. Another reaction, ouch! He's going to be bruised after this one if they carry on like that. Get ready. What a save, what floor shots from Xi Yifan. fitting that they cap that rally off in some style with some great saves and a terrific dive there from Julia Fan. Look at that, just gets up and, well, they turn the point around in the end after another long, gruelling rally. You know, the longest rally has been 75 shots, that one 66 and uh, Certainly asking a lot of questions of each other, uh, these two teams. So, for the first time in this game, then, Chen Ching Chen and Jia Yifan break to the front. And, uh, Taking their time in doing so, almost as if to say, yeah, we have, and uh, we're going to keep you waiting. The umpire gestures to come back onto court, Camilla Schroeder of Germany. 14, 14. Sublime. So it's over. Cross net brilliance. 14. Watch this. Look at this. Barking out the orders, the Japanese coach. To win this game, to stay afloat and detain the top seeds. Yeah. 16, 14. Chen Chen just trying to keep the intensity up. It's been a mini lapse over the last couple of points, according to her body language. 
And over pressing there, that was just long. It's very difficult because the celebration is so loud of the Chinese duo that sometimes it sort of overwhelms the call of the umpire and the lines judge and he's just a little confused. So we have a challenge, we're going upstairs. There's not been too many of them. Here comes Hawkeye, what does it say? Well, in! How about that? And a belated roar from the Chinese. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 15 all. Play. And the second game could not be any tighter. A wits and a grimace 16. after that serve landing 15. too short. point at this stage contested with lights out intensity no less so many long tough rallies almost a get out of jail shot there but not quite Eight shots but it really has been a terrific match to watch as the spotlight narrows here down to two courts and seems to shine brighter on all of these athletes. As we head towards the sharp end of the event. Rally length, look, 21.3 shots. I like that. Both teams with so much invested in this match, you can just see it etched all over. Every ounce of body language and emotionality. So tight all the way through this match. So little between these two teams, and 
Both of them fighting tooth and nail for any advantage they can get. Another 50-shot rally. Excellent front court work from Yonimoto. Serves over. 19, nice 17. Her ball so insistent. Great driving and pushing from the midcourt from seems to be sort of calamity at times with all of the noise on the court. The Japanese fifth seeds have three game point opportunities. Well, it seems only apt, doesn't it, that we get a deciding game to decide this. Such a close women's doubles quarter-final here. We are going the distance. 21-17 to Shiho Tanaka and Kaharu Yonimoto. 55 minutes played. Don't go anywhere. あげてもいいや、あげてもいいや、天神戦のところ。Well, look at this then, the uh, smash defence from Tanaka and Yonimoto. Just uh, incredible, returning so many smashes. 81% That's Hawkeyes uh, showing us there. How about that? Terrific defence from the Japanese. Final game. And that has uh, caused quite a turnaround. So, what will unfold here then in this uh, deciding one-game shootout for a semi-final spot in tomorrow's order of play.
overpressing a little. Easily done, especially now with a wave of momentum seemingly in the Japanese uh, camp. Is a real unforced error and uh, as one team delight another team grimace look at that having set the point up so well didn't quite get her legs up to that one and the shot collapsed into the net concentrate suggest the coach. so the defensive skills of the japanese becoming ever more watertight is their sense of imagination and endeavour here as well. Oh! Touch. It's over. Downed but not out. Players have to be so elastic, There's so much stretching to stay supple, to contort their bodies to some incredible shapes to retrieve the shuttle. Chinese muscling their way through that point in the end. Despite sterling defence from Tanaka and Yonemoto, this was fabulous. Keeping on the front foot throughout the rally. All out attack from them now. It's kind of go big or go home as far as they're concerned. <laughs> Wonderful, flat, hard, reflexive block. Deadlock on the scoreboard. Justifiably so. It has been such a tight affair from the off this one. from driving at the body of Zhu Yifan. Well, 
they are desperate in their quest to get that sort of all-important three-point lead to squeeze their opponents. Both teams varied the attack so well, but great pressure from the mid-court. And couple that with a little bit of luck as well. Neither team can really wriggle away from the other. Five, six. And this is what it means when you do make an unforced error like that. Four leave, it was in. Deadlock again, third game. Three consecutive points for the top seeds. Make that four. That was the longest run we've seen in a while. Into the second hour of play now, hour and five played. Five consecutive points for the top seeds. Deep breathing skills all round. Nine six. Japanese Play. slightly distracted, taking time after no, the referee by the seams of things. I'm not entirely sure what about. Oh, no. Umpire insisting they carry on. continues and she's dancing around the court Chen Ching Chen 10 6 6 in a row Another terrific rally, and Chen Ching Chen there Seven. in your picture has just Seven. been denied. She normally likes to own the net in women's and mixed doubles to stay on top of the attacks, but of course the defence of the Japanese duo is just so solid. And 
just uh, lifting and clearing so deep that she's kind of can't get that attack position with effect that often. Now, is there another comeback here? 10 6 to 10 7. players keen to take their time and halt the momentum of the top seeds in their tracks. Seven, ten. Give them something to think about. Play. But it's still a three-point lead in favour of the top seeds here. Can they get to the turn first? That's a nice deceptive drop. 11-7 it is. Seven. The mid-game interval. interval. It's the top seeds. In this deciding game with the upper hand of four points. Well, to think that the Japanese duo was 6 4 up in this deciding game, to be 11 6, 11 7 down at this stage is. Uh, not quite where they want to be. Coach has been on and uh, said a few words. Will it uh, make any difference here? Well done. Great put away. Well, far from out of the woods yet. They've got a lot of work to do because the Japanese team, since the mid-game interval, have come out really firing. To remind you, it was 11-7, three points in a row for the fifth seeds. a lot invested in that point particularly from the top seeds there that was a big big point and they know it stop the run of points at uh, three then for their opponents slowly adding to their tally well, it was it was called out by the Lions judge. There has been a challenge. We're going to go upstairs. I think it's a fair way out, this one. Let's uh, see what Hawkeye confirms. Yes, it is. Quite a long way. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 
Don't want to squander that solitary challenge remaining on anything like that. So it's a slender advantage of one point then for the top seeds here. Still all to play for. Semi final up for grabs. out as well. Chen 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 just over pressing. He was indeed out. Deadlock, deciding game. Just kind of what we anticipated coming into this with so little between both teams. 3-2 head-to-head -head lead. In the uh, advantage Japan in that regard. Hey. Alternating head-to-head -head wins hey. since their very first meeting, and it's the turn of the blue team to win, really. Clever <laughs> flick serve. Super sharp from Julia Fan, just enough uh, spike on that one to have effect. Just 13. rushing. Oh. Manamoto into error there. Look at that. She had no time, had to take evasive action. That was a big body blow from Julia Fan there. Strong in the wrist. <laughs> Japanese coach still barking out the uh, instructions. It's all a lot more subtle from this lady. She's a little bit more dignified. Oh! Different styles of coaches, uh, nothing wrong 14, with that. 13, 13. Good to uh, see. Smash down the line. So it's over. 14. All. Try, yeah, try. And again, it swings around. Tanaka Yonemoto with the upper hand by one point. Momentum yo-yoing all over the place here. Both teams desperate to accelerate away, but unable to do so, so far. Now then. 16, 40. There's a poignancy to this. A lead of two points in favour of the fifth seeds. Chinese coach on the edge of a seat. important three-point lead. Four consecutive points then for Tanaka and Yonemoto here. And suddenly it's all gone rather quiet in the Chinese camp, where from the off it was roaring from both players. They suddenly have been rather subdued. 18-4 lead in favour of the fifth seeds here. Oh. Off a 
of the net court, a thick net court as well. They gain advantage again. And 19, 40. Five in a row now. And that was hit with such authority and vigor. It wasn't coming back. Denied the first of six match point opportunities. 15, 20. From Chinese top seats. Second match point opportunity snatched by Koharu Yonomoto and Shiho Tanaka, the fifth seeds safely through to the semi-finals, ousting the top seeds, repeating what they did in Dubai in the season-ending finale. And they extend their head-to-head to 4-2 -head to over the world number ones. How about that? An upset on court one. Understandably, absolutely delighted with their efforts today. And through to the semi finals 14 21, 21 17, 21 15. What a win that was! It means so much to them. And to be fair, a spare a thought for the uh, losers because that was such a tight affair that could have gone either way.